Okay, so the next uh, thing we're going to do is to do a installation calculation for our form. This again is something that we've already done um, uh, with our building our own tools. In this case, we can actually use Ecotact to do the installation. And again, this comes with trade-offs. On the one hand, building our own tools is a little bit more um, kind of hands-on. We can tailor the tool to do exactly what we want. Um, but Ecotech will generally be much more accurate and um, the process itself is easier in some ways. So in one way, you have to have this other software and it's a little bit more complex. But on the other hand, once you get the thing set up, you just hit go and Ecotech will come back with you, uh, to you with the results. Okay, so I'm just gonna hide some of the solar stuff for now. We'll just keep it in the, um, in the scene as we develop this. Um, so the first thing I want to do is to create the um, a component in Gecko to export my geometry to uh, Ecotech for analysis. So just to, so you see what's going on, I'm going to reshow this mesh join component. So this again has one mesh for all of our facade geometry. And then I'm going to go to Gecko and create a eco mesh export component. Drop it in here. Um, one thing I'll do too is I'm going to turn off this eco sun path just so it doesn't bog down um, uh, Ecotech. I'm going to keep this on true so it's linked, uh, but it's not going to be doing anything yet. So when I bring in the export mesh, Component, you can see it looks a lot like all the other components. It basically has an execute input. Um, it has the input for the meshes you want to export to Ecotech, and has a series of these inputs and brackets, which are inputs into uh, Ecotech to tell it um, different parameters about the analysis or about the import. All right, so just like before, we want to create a toggle, a Boolean toggle for E, and we'll keep that false for now, so nothing gets done yet into uh, an Ecotech. For the mesh um, input, we're going to input our mesh geometry. Let's see. If we go through these inputs, some of these um, might be useful in the future. A lot of them you can keep as defaults for now. The one the really important one is this N, model new, and this will tell Ecotech whether when it runs and inputs the mesh, whether it's to start a new model or add to the current model. Because this is the first part of our process, of our chain of analysis, we want this to create a new model. So it defaults to zero model new, which is what we want. But just to really make this um, apparent, um, I'm gonna create a panel, type in zero, just so we can keep track of like this as like a key component that we might wanna change in the future. Um, the other parameters are fit to grid. You don't have to worry about this yet. Um, element type uh, by default. So Ecotech can um, accept like a, a range of different elements and materials which it accommodates in this analysis. For more detailed analysis, this is definitely useful. For now, we're gonna keep this at panel. So number seven, default, we'll just keep. It's a generic kind of um, type of geometry. And for material, we'll keep, it, keep at zero. It doesn't really matter because we're just doing a generic kind of insulation. But you can change this to anything, glass, metal, stone, uh, to get more precise results. And then zone, we can keep as outside. Okay, so now this is all set up and we'll hit true. And this will execute Ecotech and bring this geometry action into our Ecotech session. If we go to our open Ecotech session, it's here. One thing to note, and this you don't really, um, uh, this doesn't really become apparent or important until later, but I'll just mention it now. You can see that all the geometry is red, and this is because Ecotech, for whatever reason, can't handle quad quad meshes. It can't handle four-sided mesh faces. Um, so it brings in as red. It'll bring it in, it'll work for some analyses, but not for others. So we're just gonna kind of nip that in the bud right now. Um, I'm gonna tell you that before you bring any meshes into Ecotech, you have to make sure to triangulate them. So in some cases, it's nice to work with quad meshes. You can see here, all of our meshes are quadrilaterals, which is nice for some things like paneling. Um, and we're gonna keep most of our geometry as quad meshes. We're just gonna triangulate them right before we bring them into Ecotech. Uh, luckily, this is really easy to do with Grasshopper. There's a triangulate component, and you feed any mesh into triangulate, and it'll give you the triangle version of that mesh. If you wanna visualize it, we just bring it to our edges, 
you see that it's just split up every quad into two triangles, so no big deal. So now, again, while this is true, every time we change anything, it's executing. Importing a mesh is not so heavy, so we don't really worry about it. But in the future, when we make changes, we really want to pay attention to what's going on with this Boolean. Uh, so now if we go here, you can see that's kept our geometry current. And now it has all triangles. Just to show you this, uh, how fast this is for imports, uh, we can actually dynamically start to change this geometry. We can start making modifications, and it'll bring that geometry into Ecotech and dynamically change that geometry. 